Alright, so this is our uh, reverse engineering project on a deer call. We broke it down and into seven individual parts. And out of those seven individual parts, we dimensioned each. And we're going to tell about the description and what they're used for. And deer call, what it does is hunters use it, they bought into it, usually during rut season. And males get really aggressive during the rut. So what they do is blow this and it's supposed to sound like a male. And what they do is they blow it and they come in and fight each other. Alright, so I'm going to pass it over to Gase and he's going to talk to you about the first three parts. And then later on I'll talk to you about the last four parts. Okay, so pretty much first off we have the single pipe right here and then his name and it stands like that right there. Which pretty much what that does, it extends to where it controls in which direction the sound goes and also how a tone it will have. <coughs> then you have the reed, which pretty much is the cause of the vibrations in there. And it's sandwiched between the part he's going to tell about and the rubber band. Then you have the rubber band, which pretty much just has a part and the reed together to where I'll have the main vibrations. And I'm just going to turn over to Alright, you have the first part I'm talking to you about is the pressure pad. Uh, the pressure pad is located inside the midway tube. What it does is it puts pressure on the noise adjuster and holds it in place. Um, it blocks off the wind channel through the pipe, um, which allows only a small amount of air to get through with, between the noise adjuster and the reed. Alright, next part is well, we got to have the noise adjuster, which has five different notches on it, and you slide the rubber band in one notch. Well, when you slide it into a notch, it changes the amount of space between the reed, which allows different levels of vibrations, which alters the sound. This is, uh, changes the pitch between high and low. Uh, the next piece is the mouthpiece, which simply tells you its name, which a place, puts your mouth where you blow it, and this is the starting of the vibrations. Um, let's go down to the midway tube. Like I said, the midway tube is the holding spot for the, um, the, re uh, the noise adjuster and the pressure pad. Um, I like this, I like this uh, project. It taught me a lot about what reverse engineering is. Um, I thought it was really cool because I'm a big hunter and you would never expect this much stuff to be inside of a inside of a little object like that. And it also helped my skills as an inventor by making product like parts you use in real life instead of just simple objects. And you really had to put your time and effort into making each project. I'm gonna pass it over to Gates and tell you what he thinks about it. Well going back with that said, I just find it very interesting and amazing on how much stuff can fit in a normal object. And it really did teach me you know, how to make the actual objects on the board. And it was perfect. I'm going to turn over to this right now. Thank you for listening to our uh, presentation. I hope you like it and learn a lot.